This brief tutorial will walk you through how to use vPoll to conduct electronic voting during the 55th Annual Diocesan Convention on January 27, 2024 at All Saints Episcopal Church in Winter Park. We'll start with logging into vPoll and then demonstrate how to vote. On the day of the convention, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a phone or tablet connected to the internet. Each delegate will need their own device. At All Saints in Winter Park, you can either connect to the Wi-Fi network by following the instructions that will be projected, or use your cellular data plan. Once you've established an internet connection, you'll need to open your preferred internet browser. Whether that's Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, vPoll is compatible with whichever internet browser you have on your device. Open your browser and go to the vPoll website at vPoll.mobi. In the address bar, just type vpoll period mobi vpoll.mobi and then hit enter. Alternatively, instead of typing the address, a QR code will be projected on the day of convention that you can use to navigate to vpoll.mobi. Once at the vpoll website, on the home page, look for this area here labeled join a meeting. In the field labeled enter access code, enter the access code. And that code's the same for each delegate. It's 2024 DIOCON, 2024 D-I-O-C-O-N, and it is not case sensitive. It could be all uppercase, all lowercase, or initial capped as you see here. This access code will also be printed on the back of the lanyard name tag that you'll receive at registration the morning of convention, along with additional helpful information. So you enter the access code and then click the Join button. You'll then go to the login screen to enter your unique credentials. These credentials will be delivered to you via email prior to convention. They'll also be printed on the back of your lanyard name tag. These credentials consist of your unique ID number, first name, last name, and a unique email address. The ID and email fields are case sensitive. Finally, for the login screen, you'll select the polling session. On the day of the convention, there will be only one polling session available, and that will be 55th Annual Diocesan Convention. Select that, and then click the Submit button. If you entered any of the information incorrectly, you'll get a pop-up error message saying, Invalid User Credentials, Please Check. So make sure you enter all of the information correctly. Remember, login criteria is case sensitive. We suggest not letting any of the fields autofill. Type out your ID, first name, last name, and the email address that you submitted as a delegate. Once you're logged in successfully, you'll see the message question will be broadcast shortly. Please wait. And that completes the process of logging in to vPoll to vote. You don't need to log in each time you vote. Don't close your browser. Just log in once and you'll be ready to vote throughout the day. Now let's demonstrate voting. Once voting is open, your screen will automatically update with the ballot. Here, we're electing a clergy person to the diocesan board. On your device, you'll see directions to select one person, so you simply select your candidate and then click the Submit button. Before clicking Submit, you can change your mind by deselecting one candidate, then selecting another, but once you click the Submit button and you receive the message on your screen, Answer is successfully saved, that means you've locked in your vote and can no longer change your mind. It's like dropping a paper ballot in a ballot box. Once you see answer is successfully saved, your vote has been recorded in the vPoll software. Then you just leave your browser open and when it's time for the next vote, the ballot will just appear on your screen. When the voting is complete, the results will be announced at convention. And that wraps up this brief tutorial but you will have an opportunity for hands-on vPoll practice voting prior to the convention. All delegates are encouraged to take part in the Zoom webinar scheduled for January 24th, 2024 at 7 p.m. Mark your calendars. A Zoom link will be sent to all delegates via email prior to the practice. Until then, thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. Your commitment to prepare to vote with vPoll will help ensure the efficient use of time at the annual convention.